Yes. The hood of his carrying a big stick. I think I wore this exact outfit in your last vlog. What a distinguished gentleman. Welcome back to Texas. We're going back inside. It is a gorgeous day outside. Shelby and I are about to go to the post office. Say hello. Hello. I'm very happy to be here. I already showed you guys around the new place. You guys will get to see more. Just thought that I would intro the vlog very loudly everywhere, but she's giving the doggos a treat. Time to go have some more outside time. Please! Texas fruit is really good. I have some watermelon in the fridge. I want peaches so bad. We can get more gummy bears. We should get those like on the way to the... Those, I feel like I'm gonna eat them. We should get a few bags then. I don't need all those bags. Or if you get it, then hide it, something. Okay. Or, like put it in that bag. Oh. It's a girl's night. We watched um, 13 going on 30 last night. So fire. Love that movie. That was good. <laughs> that was really fun. Good morning guys! We're finally about to head out of the house. I feel like this is kind of the first real time I'm talking to you guys. Shelby and I are very high-key matching right now. I'm gonna show you guys once we get to the Galleria Mall. Wearing my Larson & Jennings watch. I'm actually super obsessed with this watch because they send it with like the repair tool whatever so that you can take links out by yourself. That's like the worst part of a watch to me is having to get it resized somewhere. But if I just already have the tool can do it myself and then actually wear it that's amazing i think she's just so cute and chic do you like my watch it's from amazon period <laughs> <laughs> gonna do my makeup in the car because the drive is like an hour to an hour 30 which is insane and we just want to get on the road so that we can get there we're gonna do a little fit check for instagram and for you guys of course once we get there so i'm super stoked to show you guys our cute little kind of matching outfits when you live in the country you have to take a gallon of water when you go to the city but it's facts <laughs> i was six pounds over with my luggage coming out here when i picked it up in my room to like see if it was too heavy just going off of memory i guess i was like oh this isn't too bad like it feels lighter than usual no it was 56 pounds so i was six pounds over which was terrible overpacker problems but let's go to the mall Today is our like downtown Dallas day, which I'm super stoked for. Definitely had a pretty late start to the day. It's two o'clock now, but I'm ready to live it up. We came to the farmer's market. I'm hoping for some fruit, but every time I go to the farmer's market, also I hope it's not too loud, but every time I go to a farmer's market, they never have any fruit. It's like all vegetables. So I'm hoping to get lucky today. But I just want a peach 
literally so bad. Wish me luck. Delicious, disgusting Shake Shack. <laughs> I did not have, have Shake Shack. I had Shake Shack. Joseph had Shake Shack. Shelby went to what was it called? I don't remember. I filmed inside. It was so good. It yeah. was all gluten free. And dairy free. Different. Or at least yours, yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. That's looking really cute. But now we're walking to Starbucks because I looked on the maps. Obviously, I'm trying to take some photos. But this Starbucks is like inside this really cool looking building. Oh, I think it's just Moxie Hotel. But it looks crazy, I'll show you. out here we just got back from our whole day in dallas i'm so glad to be back i was cramping i've been off my moringa game i'm pretty sure i told you guys about moringa like literally a year ago or something i love moringa it's basically it's superfood but what it's helped me the most with is taking care of my period so i don't get cramps balancing my hormones so i don't get like moody or anything around my period but i've been off my moringa game period was not fun luckily second day is essentially over now i'm ready to be free a free woman tomorrow also i'll put a link down below for moringa if you're not sponsored i'm just telling you like what it's done for me if i had to choose a social media platform i would choose youtube i love long form content it's so much fun. I've been upping my editing game. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I hope you can. <laughs> but it's literally just so much fun. It obviously takes so much longer to edit now. So that's why I haven't been as consistent as I want to be. The quality is getting better and I have to like get into a better... I just have to get faster at being better but i'm okay with this learning process but yeah keyframes i feel like i've mentioned keyframes like a million times i keep telling people oh my gosh i'm learning keyframes but it's just so next level i love using keyframes for things <laughs> everything just looks so much more professional and clean and i'm so stoked to get better and get better equipment and more equipment like i would love a drone i think i said that i wanted a drone the last time i was here i don't know what equipment the guys use like to mount on a car i would love one of those that would be so cool <laughs> obviously that's pretty intense but sometime in the future i would love to get one of those mounts like outside of the car so that you're seeing the car's pov the next camera that i'm hopefully getting is the dji pocket 2 hopefully the creator combo um that's the little toy that i have my eye on right now it's really all i gotta say it's honestly amazing being out of Arizona. Like it's insane that I live in Arizona. The only place that feels correct in Arizona is downtown Phoenix. And it still also does not feel correct. That is so loud. For some reason, London is really calling me. I don't know what that means, but maybe we're gonna be living in London at some point in the future. I don't know. Yes. I'm just sitting on a dock of the bay, wasting time. And it's part of Frisco Bay. Yeah. 
I haven't tried their macaron yet. It's a little loud, but I'm talking to you anyway because we just got the flying saucer. It's in Rockwall, Texas, and it's literally on the water. You guys have this like normal fries, right? Yeah, just like a side of fries. Yeah. <laughs> are about to go on a walk which i'm personally so stoked for i petitioned for this since the day i got here and i'm just so stoked to like see the neighborhood and get outside when i stay inside for too long i just feel like i'm literally suffocating i need to get outside and do things every day having a walk a fat walk let's go on a walk shall we <laughs> Good morning guys, it's the 22nd now, the day that we're all supposed to fly out. By the time this goes up, hopefully this whole situation is over, but like a bunch of flights are just being delayed and canceled. I've got hope and faith, but just going on social media just scares you a little bit. So it's gonna be fine. We're gonna have a group prayer sesh. At least that's what I'm pushing for. <laughs> so stoked to go to New York today. Start going to Florida hey. on vacay. <laughs> moments at the property before we head off to our vacays mine's half and half a vacation going to new york lord willing today <laughs> i say lord willing because of all of the canceled and delayed flights but we prayed over our situation so i have faith that the lord's gonna do whatever it is he thinks is best this is my first summer time in new york which i'm super stoked for um i haven't been to the city in the summer and i've been itching to go but also while I'm out there, definitely want to be test shooting. Also, I just got signed by Blur Agency, so. Yay, round of applause, so stoked. Just really going hard on networking and like shooting a bunch of content and just trying to be responsible and stuff like that. Boosting my career any way that I can. Once again, Shelby and Joey are going to Florida for actual vacay. They're gonna go see like Disney World and stuff. So that's super exciting. These are our last moments on the property. I definitely hope to come back for the fall. So there's clearly so many trees everywhere. So it would just be so gorgeous during the fall. See all the leaves change colors and obviously just see my best friends again. We'll see what happens. When I get back home after this trip, I have to be in like ultimate save mode, budget crunch time, getting another job, all the things, money, responsibility. Let's get the heck out of here.